Yeah. Microphone check. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. George truly. Truly yours. Carlo Banger back at it again with another special making noise in the kitchen. Today we got a dope little sandwich I'm making. This thing is called the Stunads, alright? Yeah. Yeah, this thing is ill, man. This is a quick little thing I put together, but trust me, this thing is flames. You could do this at the crib very easily, you know what I'm saying? First off, we're going to start with some gardenia over here, all right? All it is is basically pickled uh, uh, vegetables. You see, you got some carrots and, and, and all that celery in there. What I'm going to do is, is just, I, I want this to be kind of like an Italian spread, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to throw that in there with a little bit of red wine vinegar and a little bit of olive oil. You know what I mean? And our food processor, and we're going to get that to, to nice little chunks so everything's even and it turns into a nice little spread to put on our bread. Like a stunads, you know what I mean? A little bit of salt don't hurt nobody. Throw a little bit of that in there. And then, of course, you can season this to taste, you know what I'm saying? But look, we're going to run our food processor up and look, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm like pulsing it. I'm doing something a little quick, easy, you know what I'm saying? But man, this thing is, the, the flavors that it's going to push out now is, is just... You don't need any 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 mayo or anything like that on this sandwich because the flavor is, is here, you know what I'm saying? So bang, you know what I'm saying? Make it look pretty like that, you know what I mean? And, and then you could put that in the fridge and let it sit in the fridge to cool down for a few, you know what I mean? Over here, we gonna fry some chicken cutlets, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I chopped down some breasts, flatten them out a little bit, and then we gonna breadcrumb them with Italian breadcrumbs. Bang, you know what I mean? Simple as that. You know what I mean? Got a nice little baguette here, like like a bag. I, I I didn't get an Italian loaf like I should have. You know what I'm saying? I got a baguette, so this works just as well. You know what I'm saying? Spread your gardenia all over that piece, very lovely, nice even consistency all around. Look at that shit. You gonna have like little nice little sour spicy bites in every bite of this sandwich. You know what I'm saying? We going full on all the way with this bad boy right here. And we got our bacon right here. Of course, bacon has to be in every sandwich. So right here, layer this bacon nice. You know what I mean? I, I, I put them in the oven. I put these bad boys in the oven, you know what I'm saying? So they cook out even. And then once my chicken breast was done, I just sliced them things down. I, I want every bite to have an equal amount of everything. You feel me? Yeah, beautiful. Now, now this right here, these are roasted red peppers. There's already a couple roasted red peppers in the gardenia, but this one is good. I, I just wanted the, the roasted red pepper taste all the way. Pause, you know what I'm saying? Place those ro roasted red peppers evenly across. Now you're gonna take your super side, all right? This is this is some uh uh is uh, uh, what is charcuterie? You know what I mean? It's basically like salami, but tastes even better, all right? Now what I want to do right here is close this bad boy up so I can get a little bit more like space, if that makes any sense, in this in this sandwich because we ain't done. So I'm gonna take this aluminum foil and, and basically like fold everything in. So this way it's kind of like it, it forms a, a almost like a press kind of action, you know what I'm saying? So this way I got a little bit more room to add a little special something in this bad boy, alright? Roll the thing out, leave it closed for like a minute or so, you know what I mean? It's, it's alright, a minute, two minutes, however, you know what I mean? And then I'll roll this bad boy and we're gonna get it open. You, you got yourself a nice little crease now with things, you feel me? Everything is, is beautifully intact and now when I when I just opened this bad boy up it gave me space to put in this mozzarella, you know what I'm saying? This is fresh mozzarella, all right? Don't use the other stuff. Palio is a get yourself some fresh mozzarella, all right? That's how you say it too if you didn't know. Alright, so boom. Of course we're gonna wanna season this mozzarella because you know it's it's always better to season. So you add a little bit of salt and pepper, you know what I mean, to taste. I throw a little bit of olive oil, whatever, however you may, you can throw whatever you want in this thing, you know what I'm saying? Roll that bad boy back up. Look at this thing. Now, now it's just forming something beautiful, you know what I'm saying? So now this thing stays together. When you want to take this to the beach or a little picnic with your broad, you know what I mean? Then, then you good to go. Cut it down and look, look at the, the beauty of this thing right here. You can take off, you know what I mean? And just eat it like that. Look at it. Now that's pretty. That's what you call the stunads made by making noise in the kitchen. You know what I mean? That thing is beautiful. You got your, your, your cheese in there. You got your all your veggies. You got everything you need in one sandwich, all right? 
Let's take a look at this beauty. This is making noise in the kitchen. Carlo Bango with the stunads. Man, this is a busting ass sandwich.